All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to another episode of The Feels, my reactionary series. And you see the trailer. It was revealed, it was teased during the, during Evo. It was teased during Evo, or was it the Tekken World series? Tekken World, I don't know what, it, what the hell. But it was teased during Evo, I believe. And now we finally have an actual reveal trailer for it. Y'all know I'm not one for talking. I'm one for action. So let me scroll this just a little bit. There we go. That way we can widen this up just a little bit more. I don't really care for showing my face too much. We definitely finna watch this. So with that being said, man, let's... uh, Man, look. Tekken, Tekken 8. Let's go for it. Do us proud, man. People like us shouldn't exist in this world. First off, the graphics. Fight. First off, this shit looks beautiful. It looks like they're taking it to the Street Fighter 6 approach. Oh, there it is. Let's see, taking eight off the chain. What the fuck? What the fuck that was? Oh, fuck all that. We, we going back and rewatching this shit. First off, them graphics. Mwah. Like I said, them shits is beautiful. Beautiful. What do you say? Hold on. What was that? Real time rendered footage. It's real time rendered footage captured from a title in development. Some content may change that fight in the front. Of Shit, I know they're not finna change these fucking graphics. I know that for sure. First off, that stage is fucking amazing. I wonder if they're using like the Unreal Engine, what, 5 or 6 that they're on right now? Which I'm pretty sure they did. Just, bro, look at these graphics. Like, they pretty much took the same approach that Street Fighter 6 did as far as the graphics go, even though these look a little bit better. That they look slightly a bit better. I don't know if because they added more muscle definition uh, to the... to the 3D models, or what, because you can see the, every vein and all that shit. But you, you also could, too, with, uh, with Luke on Street Fighter 6. But this is amazing, though. But in this one, it looked like Jin, he has more control over the devil gene. Or he's not letting it take, take control over him as much. So that's good. Right, look at that. It seems like he's controlling it more. The only thing about this game that disappointed me what that looked like it was a super that was the only thing that that looked like it looked like a super and that's the only thing that disappointed me outside of that everything else looked great and, and they did use unreal engine okay so I bet so tekken 8 we finally got it you know so now we can move on the only downside to this is they put the rage arts in the game it looked like unless they're calling it something else but still it's supers 
that's the only thing that disappoints me with this game because Tekken 7, it, it took a Street Fighter approach, which at the time people didn't even like Street Fighter. <laughs> and unfortunately, when it comes to features like Supers and games like Tekken, when they introduce it, when it never had a history of having it before, that typically doesn't go away. You know, you kind of seen them have, they kind of did something similar with Guilty Gear, with the new, with the latest Guilty Gear, I think it was uh, Strive, when they took out the insta-kills and it kind of felt like the game was missing something at that point. It's just that I hope that they don't have revenge mechanics in this game. That's really my only wish. I don't want it to be where you're beating somebody and then they get a reward for that. Because we've seen that in Street Fighter V. We've seen that in um, in Tekken 7. We're seeing it in Tekken 7. As well as several other fighting games. It's like when your health gets down to oh so low. Then your character gets like a damage boost and shit. And it's just like, you know, how is that rewarding? At least when you look at games like Modern Warfare or, or whatever shooting game it was that I'm thinking about. When you get enough kills, you, you know what I'm saying? Then you end up getting a nuke. You know what I mean? Like, they reward you for actually being good. It's just... In fighting games, they took the opposite approach, man. So, that, that's my only disappointment. Um, I would like to see more uh, from it. Obviously, that's going to come later on. But, looks like we're getting Tekken 8. I wonder if I still have that uh, leak list. Because it seems like we're getting everything around the time that Bandai Namco leak list had announced, you know. Uh, but with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. Peace. Remember, be humble in victory. Be gracious in defeat. Show no mercy in battle. World Warriors Collective. I'm out.